Hello everyone, I'm Hudi from State 5, and today I will be talking about train troops, kill enemy troops, and free development. This is a third part, so if you're interested about previous parts of Clash of Zones event, feel free to check them out on my channel. I would recommend you to watch at least part 1 video that explains all the basics in Clash of Zones. The link will also be in the description below. Train troops. Troop training is one of the easiest events there is. It doesn't require that many resources, and speedups aren't really a problem, since 5 out of 7 Clash of Zones days will give you training speedups. If you do everything correctly every day, you should be able to score 1.2 to 1.5 G points only by using speedups. No diamonds. But that includes being efficient in all the other events, of course. Gaining the required 230 million points for a tier 9 box is pretty simple. You should always use resources that you have a lot of. For example, I do have a big problem with iron, that's why I don't train shooters on troop day. You might be wondering, if you will score 1.2 G points every week, what to do with the excess troops? First off, I don't recommend you to score this much every week, it would cost you a lot of resources. Second of all, you might be wondering what to do with all those excess troops that are just staying in your city with no purpose. Well, it's simple. Kill them. I will explain further later in the video. Kill enemy troops. This event is the most fun and also the most time consuming. You get points for every troop from the enemy state that you kill and also for each of your troops that die while attacking. That said, it's better to attack than to defend for the following reasons. You get more points, you get resources when the siege is successful, you have attack bonuses, and finally, you're not risking as much. Even if you lose, it won't cost you as much to recover. You see, when you're defending and all of your formations don't stop the attacker, one third of your troops that aren't assigned to any APC will die, making your opponent get loads of points, while you lose not only resources from plunder, but even more resources for healing your troops. Which brings me back to troop training part. Let's say you have 2 millions of fighters in your city. If you fail in defense, over 600,000 of them will die, which could be about 180 million points for the enemy state. You don't want that. So there are a few choices. The one that I prefer is to send them to their death in Doomsday War between alliances. Don't heal them. You could even dismiss them from your hospital. The second way is to talk to a friend and kill each other's excess troops with multiple attacks on each other. I will be covering battle tactics in a different video, but it will all work on hit and run. Free development. On the seventh day, you choose an event of your own choice. But event points will be recalculated for each event under a different ratio, you should choose an event on what you need to do or what you have resources for. For example, I want to push tier 9 troops, so I want to do research naturally. But if I don't have resources, I have to go with training troops or kill enemy troops. And that's it for today. Like this video if you liked it, dislike if you didn't, subscribe and have a great time. Bye.